Stevens, who haven't been in law enforcement for a while, I need to tip my hat. <coughs> Sheriff Fale and Solicitor Newman, glad to be in your jurisdiction today. Um, Y'all, and thank you for mentioning Peggy. We just celebrated our 41st wedding anniversary, and I was talking to a fellow, and uh, thank you very much. I was talking to somebody, he said, yeah, I've been married a long time. He said, I've discovered the secret to success for a happy, long, happy marriage. I said, what's that? He said, well, every week, two nights a week, my wife and I, we find a nice, elegant restaurant, and we go out to dinner. I go on Tuesday, she goes on Thursday. <laughs> Y'all welcome to use that one anytime. <laughs> you know, uh, being in politics, one of the main parts is stealing good jokes. And Dr. Bach, those two you told about the elephant to see you, those are safe. <laughs> y'all, particularly for y'all standing, I'll be very brief. Uh, I'm gonna build a story about the famous actress, Elizabeth Taylor. Supposedly said to her six husband, I won't keep you long. So I, won't, I won't keep you long. But I do have to say, this is what you've seen here is really a, is really the heart of South Carolina. And and what's been stated from here is, is what I hear from people all around the world that come to look to invest billions of dollars. They bring their interpreters, they're from Japan and Korea and all over Europe. But the things that have been said today from this spot are exactly the reason that the people come here. And they say it in different ways, in different languages. They say the, thing, the reason they come to South Carolina, they say are three reasons, the people, the people, the people. And this company and these people, this community represent exactly what it is. It is the, the pro, it projects the future of South Carolina to be unlimited and wonderful. The main thing that we have to realize is, is that we have the power to do all these things. You remember the story of the, the city slicker that went to the went to the circus, and there was a big jumbo, huge jumbo elephant was standing there. He had a little teeny chain around his leg, and the city slicker says to the ringmaster, he said, "Boy, that's ridiculous. That big old elephant, he could just walk off and break that chain, not even think about it. Can't can't hold him back." And the man said, "Well, that's right. But when he was a baby, we put that chain on him and try and try and he's mighty. He could not break that chain. So now he doesn't try anymore." So my, per my point is, we have, we have things in South Carolina that you cannot find anywhere else, and it's taken generations, taken hundreds of years to create it and to, to build it the way we are now. We need to understand it and be proud of it and understand how important that is. One is our, our faith, the, the faith of the, the people, whether they say the, the Bible or the or buckle of the Bible belt. Another is our, our military tradition and strength. And another is a, is a, and when you put that in paradise, which is what the kings and queens were told when the explorers were coming over in the 14, 1500s, they were writing back, not writing back, but taking messages back to the kings and queens, their sovereigns, saying of all the colonies and all the places the, to be colonies, all that lands in the new world, this place that today we call South Carolina is the most prosperous, the most abundant of them all. So we're in paradise. You have arrived. We're all in paradise now. The problem is we don't realize it and we don't act like it. But the, the traditions, the culture here at this company that's been built by this family and those that have been become a part of this family is really, really extraordinary. But one thing that you may not have noticed, and I noticed this, I've been here before and been on the tour and looked at those machines, and there's a commitment to precision and excellence. And it doesn't it just exist here. They measure everything and test it on the way in and on the way out and while it's here. They don't do that for pills for humans in the laboratories around the world. But they do it here for animals. But that's a great thing. But another example of precision that you may not have noticed, I love this one. This was in 2003. Is at the Darlington Racetrack. Anybody ever been to Darlington? I tell you what, you'll never forget it if you go. And I encourage you all to go. Well, in 2003, the race lap was over 400 miles, and of course they had a lot of yellow flags and had uh, cautions, and people had to had to pull the cars into the pits. Where well, sometimes they can change those tires, put four new ones, and fill it up with gas in nine seconds. You know. wow. Sometimes it takes 12. Try try doing that. But they they the commitment to precision there resulted in this in 2023. 
Ricky Craven driving a number 32 Pontiac beat Kurt Busch driving a, a number 97 Ford after 400, over 400 miles with average speeds with those pit stops and all of 125 miles an hour average. The margin of victory, which of course was a photo finish, was two one thousandths of a second. You can Google it and watch that thing. <laughs> it is something. The announcers are going wild. And they're using language they don't usually use on the air because they're so excited. My point is that kind of excellence and dedicated to precision is all across our state. And we see it in the companies coming here, the companies that are thriving here. And it's because of the people who live here. And as I say, these big companies, they risk, they're risking their reputation, their future, billions of dollars, everything to come and build and they're coming from all over the world. So we've got, a great, we've got a great thing going here. There's not a better place in the whole world to live, work, and raise children than right here in South Carolina. And our job is to be sure to continue that, to celebrate that as we're doing today with this groundbreaking, and also be sure to tell the children this is where they need to be. This is where they will grow strong and you realize all their dreams. So I thank you for inviting me, and on behalf of five million happy, proud South Carolinians, Dr. Bob and all of the Newfamax family and the Lancaster, this, everyone here, we thank you and celebrate right along with you. Thank you. Thank you very much.